welcome to me sakshi manas sakshi and welcome to our show vastu and graha shastra as usual we have lot of questions on vastu shastra like what's the real in vastu and what what are all the myths in vastu so to know answers to these questions and to know what's the myths and what's the real in this vastu shastra let's welcome our georgius guest dr deepika sanghi gupta gar hi deepika ji how are you hello preeti ji how are you i am fine how about you deepika ji i am good good so as we discussed uh, in the previous episodes there is a lot of myths and a lot of real in vastu shastra so in the same way we have some more questions from the audience to uh, deepika ji so one of the question is uh, mainly as per the home if there is any pregnant women in the home should we follow some vastu rules or it will not be applicable to pregnant women no definitely see the vastu principles are applicable to each and everybody and in each and every situation so you know uh, like for pregnant ladies also we have to follow the vastu principles first of all uh, you know if you are trying for the pregnancy then i would say again that you know some of the zones in the house should definitely be avoided otherwise it will bring more of the stress or some female related problems in them or uh, if you are already pregnant then also some uh, you know zones should be completely avoided for that like i would say that uh, if you are pregnant then uh, avoid you know eastern side of the southeast because that will bring anxiety and stress inside you and you know whatever we think eat and go through the emotions in the pregnancy that have some direct or indirect impact on the child right so that is why you know that is the area of stress and anxiety so completely avoid that area and the second is like southern side of the southwest again that area is uh, you know uh, area between uh, you know more of the southern side of the southwest so it is somewhere between the south and the southwest so center of that more towards southern side so you know that area uh, is uh, the area of disposal so if a pregnant lady keeps on you know sleeping there or spends lot of time there then uh, there are lot of chances of you know miscarriage and the third zone i would say is the western side of the northwest uh, which is between the west and the northwest so that area actually brings depression inside you so when the pregnant lady goes through all those negative emotions then somewhere or the other the child is you know that gets affected so that is why these three areas a pregnant lady should definitely avoid and the fourth area is the northeast uh the pregnant lady can sit in the northeast and can do the pujas or you know whatever the rituals but she should not sleep in the northeast and she should not spend lot of time in the northeast otherwise the child can develop some or the other neuro problems uh this this is according to the science of vastu shastra so these four directions should be avoided uh and uh, i would suggest that a pregnant lady should sleep or stay more in the you know eastern side of the northeast that is between the east and the northeast uh, because that is again the zone of fun recreation so if she is happy then she is going to deliver a you know happy child uh, with healthy emotions and um, if she stays in the east that is also good the south will bring you know uh, will make her immune system strong and the west is again the direction of the children so the west is also good thank you deepika ji for clarifying all the zones like uh, how it will impact the baby uh, in the womb of a pregnant lady uh, as you mentioned yes it's scientifically proven also some directions will uh, give some negative vibrations to the people that's why our mental health will also be affected so deepika ji for uh, yeah for any plot or home so we will take if you want to see the directions so we will take one compose or something app or we'll place in the middle of the hall sometimes we'll place near to the door or sometimes we'll place on the top of the home to see the direction so what's the exact place to know the directions and to prefer the vastu for our plot or home deepika ji see this is a really nice question people sometimes when want to get vastu done by me they they will go near the door they will put the compass over there they'll take the pictures and you know email me that this is the see these are the degrees this is exact north this is exact south no it does not uh, go that way the uh, you know uh, according to a layman how you can take the directions is that 
just stand in the center of the house now how you will take the center just see the eastern wall and the western wall and take the center between them and then the south and the uh, you know north and take the center between them so just try to make a rough center of the house and then keep the compass not in your hand on the floor and then just see any one of the four directions you can take what are the exact degrees of that plot so this is the right way of taking you know uh, the zoning or you like taking the exact direction of a plot but sometimes what happens that you know the four zones are not equally divided they have some cuts or you know some extended part in the house at that time also you have to follow the same principles like you again have to see the east west and the north south and take a center of that and then stand over there and keep the compass on the floor and then check it out sometimes people ask me we have to see the entrance or we have to see from where the sun is rising the east no nothing like that you can take the you know degree of any of the four directions and then uh, after taking the degrees then yes and then on each degree, degree there is a energy zone there is a energy field and that works a lot so if you are taking like i would suggest take with two or three mobiles or if you have compass and never keep the compass near the mobile phone because with the radiations you know uh, the energy is get disturbed so either take a compass or a phone and then try to do it with two three things to take a perfect measurement of the degrees of that you know plot Thanks a lot for your suggestion to know the directions by using compass because it's really a basic question. But still, we need to know before judging the vast zone, before judging the directions, we need to know from where we need to consider the directions to vast zone. Thank you, Deepika ji. And uh, the third thing is like uh, normally in India, we'll have we will rent the homes. So owners can be staying in upper level. Sometimes owners can stay in the lower level. So there will be, I mean, lot of portions. So what you will suggest for the vastu? I mean, owners which I mean they can stay in upper level or lower level, or which portion they can be they can give for rent. Ah, uh, Deepika ji. See, according to the vastu, we see uh, the vastu of each and every floor separately. Whether it's a basement, then the first, then the second here in US, or whether it's over there the ground floor or the first floor, we see the vastu separately. So, if you are giving the lower portion on the rent or the upper portion on the rent, it hardly matters according to the vastu. You can give any portion according to your convenience. You just see first your convenience. What is convenient for you to give, whether the lower part or the upper part. So that is given. That that is not at all any problem and if we are staying on the same uh, you know uh, level and we want to give one side of the house as the you know uh, for the rent then see all the four directions are important then i would say just see your profession like if you are something into banking marketing then don't give the western side uh, into for the rental part because that is your main zone if you are something related to you know medicines or something again related to banking field or uh, you know something related to uh, religious field then never give the northern part uh, you know anything related to healing religion so don't give the northern part of the house on the rent because you are giving your main direction on the rent uh if you are something related to the connectivity with the people let's say you are into some government job some you know uh, either into some politics or something or you are uh, you know engaged with some big organizations or institutions and you are working there so never give the eastern side of the house uh, on the rent keep that with you and if you are something related to you know where the authority is needed where where you needs a lot of authority or uh, where you need uh, you know or you have been into some work where lot of you know you get lot tired or something and you need lot of rest then don't give the southern side of the house on the rent okay. sure we will follow these type of instructions from you deepika ji and second thing regarding the tulsi plant So Tulsi plant was scientifically proven. It's a good medicine for everything. That's yeah. why we will do puja and we'll keep Tulsi plant in every home. And some people will do puja because we will think it's really a very natural plant and it will help us. It will give us immunity. So is yeah. there any connection between Tulsi plant and Vastu Deepika ji? 
Definitely. See, you can keep the tulsi plant in the northern side of the house, in the eastern side of the house, or the southern side of the house. And moreover, you can keep the you know tulsi plant on the entrance of the house, or as you have seen, uh, if if it is possible, then the center of the house is also good for the tulsi plant. And as you have asked about the tulsi plant, see the purushottam mass is going on, the adhik mass is going on, uh, which is known as adhik mass, purushottam mass, or mal mass. So you know how uh, actually. in this month if you worship goddess tulsi then you know uh, she bestows you and the family with good health wealth immunity everything uh, so like uh, this is purushottam mass going on so i would suggest that you know in the morning try to get up uh, early in the morning if if possible then brahm muhurt and you know 3 to 5 do some meditation do mantra jap do chantings do some donations because if you do anything uh, till this uh, october uh, 18th of october this malmas will continue so if you do any kind of donations chanting it will give you thousand times results your sins will automatically removed off from the past births also if you worship lord in this month this malmas month so worship lord krishna worship lord rama any incarnation of lord vishnu and in the evening uh, try to put a you know desi ghee uh, deepak in front of goddess tulsi and ask forgiveness for all the sins from all the past births and moreover if you want more of knowledge in this month then worship uh, lord shiva and uh, worshiping lord ganesha for specially removing the sins uh, is very good for this month Yeah. so worshiping goddess tulsi in this month is very very auspicious yeah from this month we'll start our festivals and uh, we will do lot of pujas yeah it's really a good thing ma'am uh, in the in our discussion we got a good memory of doing pujas also so uh, like uh, internal arrangement of house items so we will place i mean uh, for it can be for decoration purpose or it can be a puja room we'll place some idols and it can be so some paintings we'll hang it to the wall so will these type of internal arrangement will affect some vastu is there any connection between that ma'am yes definitely first of all if we talk about the idols see uh, whenever i go in any house i see you know lot of god's idols especially lord ganesha's idol first of all god is not a decorative item see everybody needs their place everybody needs that respect so never place the god idols as you know uh, the uh, you know they are not decorative items just place them in one area that is northeast the best best area the second is the west so uh, just be place the gods in your puja room in your worship room in your prayer room and not like here and there so you know when i usually go for vastu i usually ask them to remove all of them the second people place the idols on the gate so again the god is not a gate keeper right so the god needs his own respect he is the supreme power right so yeah the the highest level of cosmic energy so you cannot place them on the door so people usually place them on the door uh, see people are innocent they they keep they have that feeling that when we enter the house we should see the god so see it's nothing like you keep on seeing hardly matters he is inside you if you doing good karma if you are not hurting anybody if you doing you know you doing everything and you are not hurting people you doing good karma then definitely the god is happy with you right the see if you take pick up any religious any religious scripture or any other scripture in the world what they say do good karma that's it become a good person and if you are a good person automatically your energies are good automatically you know you have that positive vibes inside you when you have that positive vibes and definitely the god's cosmic energy flows inside you right so never place gods and idols like this in the house and if we talk about the paintings so see everything we keep in the house have somewhere or the other uh, impact on our sub subconscious mind so if we see if see uh, if daily in the morning we see some idol like you know blossoming flowers rising sun so definitely that has impact on our mind you know and uh, sometimes if we have low energy due to our work over overloadedness and we see a good painting or a good quote we automatically gets filled with positive energy right but if we see something negative all the time then that also creates impact on our mind so keep you know while uh, putting the paintings in the house 
just be very very cautious they should be very positive nothing related to you know that uh, mahabharat scene the people fighting over there or somewhere you know some aggressive painting somebody beating somebody so all these or some broken pieces of paintings no that should be totally avoided because that creates the impact on your subconscious mind if you want to keep the paintings keep the paintings which have some very positive quotes Oh. so when you get up or when you see them often then that code subconscious uh, you know that code gets inside you slowly and slowly right so keep the positive things in the house don't keep knives here and there anything sharp things don't keep them here and there and then you know uh, today i have seen lot of lord ganesha statue and there you know only his head or lord buddha statue only his head no avoid these kind of statues also Sure, Deepika. As you said, it's absolutely true. For example, if you at early morning, if you hear some birds singing, and if you see some good scenery, the complete day it will be very happy because we'll be thinking the same scenery. We'll be in that very happy mood. So sure, we'll also follow the same thing. Whatever you are suggesting, Deepika ji. And second thing, if we buy a plot or uh, if there is a home. the center of the home or center of the plot is very important if there is a big plot we will construct some homes in the corner of the plot because you need some park you need some backyard so what what difference it will make in the vastu the center of the plot or the center of the home uh see uh, first of all we will see the center of the home not mm -hmm. the center of the plot uh, definitely the center of the plot has also its own significance but because we are residing in uh, that four walls right so the center of the house is much more important than the center of the house and uh, see in us there are big houses right so we have a lot of front space the backyard and there is a lot of open space on both the sides of the house also so uh, the uh, usually it's all the green over there so that is okay perfectly fine uh, in the center of the you know plot i would say that uh, avoid putting some big fountains or you know some heavy machinery over there or heavy furniture over there just avoid putting that and if we talk about the center of the house definitely uh, it means a lot because the center of the house actually is the brahmasthan so from the brahmasthan only all the energies get divided so it should be kept very clean clear uh, in one of the house i have seen that you know they were having a heating uh, panel over there uh, so what happened a lot of acidity issues were there a lot of digestive issues were there and in one of the house i have seen uh, you know uh, the uh, coat closet was there which was filled with lots and lots of shoes and you know the broken shoes so i asked them that uh, do you people have clear vision what you have to do in the future so they said no this is the main problem in the house so you know keep the center of the house very clean and clear because otherwise you will not get that vision how to lead your life you will not get that clarity polarity and then you will not get that you know uh, you will not be making right decisions at right time yes. so keep the center of the house very very clean and if if you have any vastu dosha over there then definitely it can be cured don't worry about that sure be careful and one more thing these days the color management in the home or in the offices was playing a major role i mean for kids we are if it is girl kids we are giving some pink shade to the walls and if it is boys kids we are giving some blue shade to the wall and for attraction we are placing multiple colors in the living room so what's the relation between the vastu and the color management in the home deepika ji see vastu and color theory plays a deep deep role if we put wrong colors in the wrong zones then definitely we will face some or the other negative aspect of that zone let's say if somebody made their daughter's bedroom in the northern side right and uh, again they want to get it done either pink or red then definitely the money opportunities will get flushed away from that house and then they will say that yes we don't get too much opportunities if i get the opportunity i am unable to grab it so the colors play a very important and major role first of all before picking the colors be very very sure that you get the right colors done in the right zone 
The second thing, uh, you know, the color of the curtains, the color of the mats also matters a lot. So, uh, like, as I said, that if we put the red color in the north, then it's going to drain the money opportunities. And moreover, it is also going to drain, uh, you know, uh, the finance from the house. So use the colors very, very wisely. And uh, one tip that avoid using brown color in the house especially in the bedrooms and especially in the couple's bedroom because you know that disturbs a lot of energy among the couple sure, sure. so the color should be taken care of like what direction what zone what color you are putting over there because they play a lot of uh, energy role over there okay sure and one more thing is uh, a lot of modern homes is coming lot of uh, i mean different different structures were there everything was there so in this in this modern thing there is one home construction where i'm seeing is like uh, people are building their homes which is lower than the basement i mean which is lower than the um, normal surrounding level so some are, are actually like living rooms will be like a little bit lower than the remaining home, the surrounding home. So it, will it impact any Vastu Dosha's uh, Deepika ji? See, it will impact the Vastu Dosha if, uh, you know, uh, those lower parts are in the wrong zone. Like in the traditional Vastu, it is said that, the, you know, the southern side and the western side should be elevated and the northern side and the eastern side should be on the lower level. So if, let's say, the living room is on the northern side or the eastern side and it's on the lower level, then that's perfectly fine. But if you are lowering, you know, the south or the west, then it should, uh, then it will concern the property owner. So, uh, and it is what for the you know traditional vastu so if it is uh, like here and there that's okay 20 30 percent but it should not be a major elevation down uh try to keep north and the west elevated and try to keep north and the east a little bit lower side so that will give more prosperity to the you know owners yeah thanks a lot for your valuable inputs on vastu sastra deepika ji let's continue our session in the next episode yeah. Until then, signing off, Preeti Sakshi. Thank you.